Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to give you 8 tips on how to not get stressed for your next interview. So I've gotten so many comments on my Home Depot, Olive Garden, and Shake Shack videos telling me that you guys are nervous for your interview or you haven't had an interview in years and wish me good luck. So I decided to make a concise video for you guys on how to take that anxiety and fear and actually convert it to confidence. Whether it's for an interview, a presentation, a group project, or any of the above, you can use these tips to help you be better prepared when it comes to nervousness. So tip number one is persuasion over impressing. Always be thinking about how you can help others because they value that. Now it's not always about what you have to offer, but most importantly, how you deliver it. When it comes to an interview, persuasion is way more important than boasting all that you've achieved or your accomplishments. So the reason that they're interviewing you for the position is because they need help. They wanna see if you can contribute the necessary actions needed to complete the tasks. So the big thing that you wanna do is find out what they need, whether it's a coding job, a fast food job, a retail job, Find out what they need and let them know that you can do just that. Think about how you can contribute to the company and how you can persuade them that you're a fit candidate that can fulfill all the tasks that they need. All right, tip number two is remember your value. Now remember, you're helping them. You're a value to their company, which is why they're calling you in for the next step to get hired. Always remember what you have to offer because you actually have more than you might think. Your brains, helpfulness, work ethic, and credibility are all qualities that made them call you in for this interview. Don't talk yourself down. Remember all that you have to offer for them. Now you're just letting them know about the unique qualities that you have that you can offer to benefit their company. The biggest thing is stop thinking about what they're thinking about you. They're just writing down the answer to the question that they ask. And most of the time, they're not even the hiring manager. They're usually the middleman reporting to the hiring manager. So all in all, remember your value and stop thinking about what they might be thinking about you and more about what you have to offer and how you can deliver that to them. All right, tip number three, let's get physical. We're talking about physical power positions. Whether you're giving yourself a pep talk the morning of the big day, or you're waiting to be called in for the interview, or you're physically in the interview, power positions are a great tool that you can use to subconsciously boost confidence and reduce interview anxiety. All right, power position tip number one is pre-interview. Get in front of a mirror and stretch your arms up and away from your body. Let that confidence soak in. You can even close your eyes and imagine that you're standing on top of a big mountain with your arms outstretched. This helps increase blood flow to all parts of your body, letting nervousness out and bringing confidence in. Similarly, just keeping your arms away from your body rather than touching and inwards can increase confidence. So crossing your arms or keeping your hands awkwardly close to you or in your pockets not only externally shows weakness, but internally can make you feel less confident and powerless. Rather, keeping your shoulders up or keeping your hands on your hips or behind your head can outwardly show openness and can also make you feel more powerful and self-assured. Power position tip number two is during the interview. During the interview, there are many things that you can do to subtly show confidence. For example, a firm handshake. Weak handshakes can show signs of nervousness or insecurities, which you don't want to give that impression off on your interview. So make sure you greet them with a firm handshake and that can already show them that you are confident for the interview. Now for feeling confident in the interview, this is when power positions come into play. If you're going to be standing during the interview, then power position tip number one can help you feel more self-assured. Now, if you're going to be sitting in a chair, there's many things that we subconsciously do that actually make us internally feel weaker. For example, hunching your back instead of sitting upright can make you feel less confident in yourself. Also, crisscrossing your legs or your arms or having your hands in your lap is a bad move. Keep your feet a good distance apart, your hands on your knees, and lean in just a little to show that you're engaged with the interviewer. Definitely do not be shy to make your presence known. All right, moving on to tip number four, treat the interview like a meeting or a conversation rather than an interview. 
Now this can be a tough one for some people because you're actually tricking your mind to think of the interview as something different than what you've been accustomed to it as. But the more you think about this interview as an end-all, be-all, super high-intensity, judgmental analysis of you, the more nervous you're gonna be. Instead, look at it more as a discussion. They ask you a question, and you're discussing your viewpoints on those certain questions. Don't see it as an interviewer and an interviewee. Instead, see it as two people with similar backgrounds discussing on certain topics and having a few exchange of words. All right, tip number five, preparing answers to common questions. Now, one of the best things that you guys are already doing is watching videos like these to prepare ahead of time for the interview. Now, make sure that you guys are preparing yourself for common questions that can be asked on the interview and also prepping answers ahead of time that you can have on hand to use. This will take that burden off of you since you know that you have answers that you have prepared in advance that you can use during the interview. All right, tip number six is wearing our confidence. Dress to impress yourself. Here's a reminder for you that when you look your best, you're gonna feel your best. And in turn, you're gonna do better on the interview. Whether you choose to wear very professional business attire or just your favorite shirt with really comfy shoes, make sure that you are feeling your best about the way that you dress. This can subconsciously boost your confidence and increase the view that you have on yourself, which can be reflected onto others. All right, tip number seven is taking your time to answer questions. Take a deep breath and pause instead of saying, I don't know or um. Yes, taking your time to answer questions is a big thing that can help reduce your own anxiety and show the interviewer that you're calm and poised. When you're anxious, it's natural to feel the nerves getting to you and start to talk on, ramble, rumble, jumble, all those kinds of things. Right when you notice yourself getting to this point or just not knowing what to answer to a question in general, take a couple of seconds to think and formulate a concise answer. Remember, it's better to be more in depth and talk more rather than cutting the answer short or saying I don't know or um. Right, tip number eight is getting comfortable in your interview environment. So with COVID rates fluctuating, you might have an in-person interview or you might have it over the phone or through Zoom. So if you have an online interview, maybe dial in through Zoom or call a friend and exchange some questions and answers that could be asked in the interview just to get comfortable with that type of environment. Experiment with the video software you're gonna be using, for example, Zoom, so that when interview day comes, there's no hindrances or malfunctions. For an in-person interview, try and get in the building or the room that your interview is gonna be held in. Also, try and get a friend on the phone and go back and forth asking some questions and practicing some answers or some of the tips that you're gonna be taking from this video and applying in your interview. Remember that your interview environment is not as scary as a place as you make it out to be. It's just a new place and you just have to learn to get comfortable in that environment. And the bonus tip that I have for you guys that is actually tip number nine is all about eating clean. Whether you have a morning, afternoon, or evening interview, make sure you're getting some healthy nutrition into your body. Eat about an hour or an hour and a half before your interview so you give your body enough time to digest the food and use it, use the nutrients for sustained energy. Go for whole grain foods and foods high in vitamin B like citric fruits, avocados, and eggs. Make sure you're watching out for your sugar and caffeine intake because those can negatively impact your sustained energy and actually drain it out after a while. So those are the eight tips that I have for you guys to not be nervous for your interview. Make sure that you're practicing them before you go to your interview so that when you do get to your interview, you ace it with confidence. Let's say goodbye to those nagging nerves. Feel free to comment down below any other questions that you guys have while going through this interview process. I know it can get tedious at times and crazy at times, but just remember that you should be focusing on what you can control, not what you can't control. Thank you guys for watching.